he traveled to the pretty Derbyshire village of Bakewell, where he found himself caught in some culinary crossfire. Not only does the village produce the popular Bakewell tart, but it turns out there's a rival and predecessor, the Bakewell pudding. Proprietor Gemma Feezy couldn't be more proud of her puddings. It's the originals of Bakewell. You can't buy an original Bakewell pudding anywhere else other than in this town. The history of the Bakewell pudding started in the 1800s, White Horse Inn, which is now the Rutland Arms Hotel in the centre of Bakewell. Oh, okay. The cook made a mistake and she actually put the mixture on top of the jam instead of actually mm. making some sort of jam pudding born was the Bakewell pudding. All, all the puddings are made by hand, yeah? Completely made by hand, yeah. We stick to the original recipe. Okay. Um, puff pastry base. In here is the original mixture. Eggs, almonds, sugar and butter. And how many will you make of these a day? Thousands. In summer peak season, August. Absolutely thousands. And you'll get, you'll get people from all over the world? They're posted all over the world. We've just done a massive post out to the troops. Have you? Yeah, yeah. One of the ladies used to uh, work here ten years ago and she's now in the army and working in Iraq. Oh, so sure. we did a massive post out over there. Oh, yeah, nice. they loved it. Time to try out Gemma's pride and joy. It smells beautiful. It's so light. You can taste the almonds. It's such a, um, like a soft, gooey sort of mixture, which yeah. is really, really nice. So has this 200-year-old recipe thrown a spanner in the works for Glyn's dessert? Is the proof in the pudding, or will Glyn stick to his tart? To get the other side of the story, he heads to the Bakewell Tart Shop to meet Zoe McBurney. So I see, see you've had this uh, special tart made. We have, yeah. A yeah. little bird told me you were coming today. Brilliant. So we had that made specially for you, but that is the ice Bakewell. The traditional Bakewell tart is that one there. This one there. Which is your traditional recipe. We've got mm -hmm. sweet pastry, there's a layer of jam, and then there's the mix with the sugar and the eggs. That is actually coated in almonds, but it does have almond essence in as well. In, inside the inside mix. Inside yeah. the mix. So anyway, should, should we get on and have a little taste? Yeah, as you wish. It looks absolutely stunning. Mm. You can really taste the almond. Yeah. And yeah. you've got a beautiful um, crust on the top. Crust on the top, yeah. Which is yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. The story goes the Bakewell pudding was invented before the tart. But even so, this shop has been turning out its eponymous dish for 50 years. Why do you think people are continuing to buy a Bakewell tart? The Bakewell tart. The tart, obviously, a lot of people, the mums made it when they were younger. Mm. It's a taste of home, a taste of tradition, and I think that's what it is, that's key to it. They think that they've come back home and they feel warm and it makes, it's a yeah. nice food. So when you go on holiday, the first thing you do when you come back from the beach of Spain is have a nice cup of tea and a big slice of Bakewell tart. That's right, I did. And that's a cup home. of tea and a Bakewell tart, it's got to be. Yeah. 